Here we are, it's the second installment of my tutorial building this very basic helicopter model in the software Blender. My project is pretty much exactly where we left off in the first video and all I've done is reloaded in my side view image. What we're going to do now is work on the nose cone area of the helicopter. We're going to close it up, it's still an open cylinder. So we're going to need to close that and, uh, and we're going to do it by using a UV sphere. First thing I'll need to do is center my cursor on the area that I need the sphere. So I'll use the box select tool, select the nose cone area, shift S to call up the snap dialog, and move the cursor to the selection. With the cursor moved to that selection, I can now go to a front view of the helicopter. We'll zoom in on that. <clears throat> I'm going to add a UV sphere. Because we use 12 vertices in our cylinder, it would seem appropriate to use 12 segments in our sphere. For rings, we won't need anything more than 8. So I'll drop that down to 8 and just leave the radius at 1. We're going to have to size the sphere anyways. If we look into the sphere, we can still make out the shape of the nose cone. It's an oval here and we're going to resize the UV sphere to sit inside of that oval. So first off, we'll size it for the wide part of the oval by changing the size of the whole sphere. And then we'll hmm, I think I'm going to try rotating this and see if I can get it to match up with the vertices a little better. I seem to have them a little bit offset here and maybe if I rotate this a couple of points the vertices may match up a little better. So I'm going to give that a try. Yeah, that seems to straighten that issue out a bit. So rotating that worked out. I could see on the inside of the oval that my UV sphere had centered its vertices in the middle. So I just rotated it so that the flat section is now on the top and that matches up with the cylinder. So that'll work out a, just a tad better. Now we can size it along the Z and but basically just squash it into the oval shape. That being done, we can go back to the side view. Oh, I have an offset in my image. That's the offset from the top view, which wasn't completely centered. So we'll get rid of that offset. We're going to, first off, slide the UV sphere into the nose cone so that it sits within the drawings profile. So I'll grab it along X and just bring that in, tuck that in a little bit there. I'm going to zoom back because we don't actually want any of this nose cone now. We're going to replace it with sphere instead. I'm going to move the sphere out of the way which may not make much sense since I just put it where it belongs but perhaps it'll make sense when we do it. I'm going to grab it use the control key to make it snap to specific locations and move it out by two units. With it out of the way I can now delete the parts that I don't really require which is a section of the sphere and I'm going to delete the entire nose cone. By deleting the nose cone I actually save myself a joint and a number of vertices so what I'll do in the end is actually rebuild that section. Now I'll pick the what's left of the UV sphere back up and zoom back. By zooming back it changes the way that the snapping option works. I'll use G for grab, the control key again, and move it two sections back. As you can see it's right back in the identical location that we had it. 
So we'll have a take a look at the front side. First I'll turn this into a solid so we can see it a little better. Along the front side you can see my vertices all line up nice and nifty. And all I have to do is replace the nose cone. So I'll pick four vertices at a time and use the F key to replace them. This is another one of those processes that it's more time consuming than it's worth. I think I've demonstrated enough of that. So I'm going to cut out and I'll return with that done. Okay, that's pretty much got the front end of the helicopter done. I filled in all of the faces there for reconnecting the nose cones. So we're going to go over to the back end of the helicopter now. So I'll just move that around into a better position. And I'm going to use the brush select tool just to pick up four at a time, four vertices at a time. Use F key to add a face, A key to deselect, and brush up the next four. This will go very quickly this way. And that takes care of that. So we'll return to a side view and return to a wireframe. Now we're going to want a shape for this portion of the tail fin and then our profile is pretty much done. So I'm going to zoom into that a bit, have a closer look. Looks to me that when I prepared my image I cropped a bit off. So I'm thinking that my tail fin is actually just a touch short of the length that it will need to look proper. I'm going to pick the whole thing up, grab it along the x-axis, and just pull it out slightly. Then I'll move the vertices in to the proper shape. I'll grab them and move them along the x-axis. This time I'm going to tuck them out to the extreme edge and see if we get a good shape that way. For this location, I'm not going to want to just move it along the x. I'm going to limit the y and be able to move it along two axes. That way I can place it where I need it, which is right inside of this joining point here. And, hmm. I somewhat suspect that trying to follow the lines here just isn't going to look very good. So I'm going to step outside the box, so to speak. And try to place this one where I figure it might look the best. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll look good. And then I'll just straighten it out a bit with this one. And then I think that will take care of that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So, I only had four minutes left when I started this. I'm probably pretty much out of time again. With my next uh, video installment, I'll extrude the tail wings, deal with this engine housing, which will also be extruded, and maybe I might get some enough time left over to see what we can do for the bottom portion. I'm going to lose the whole idea of wheels here. I don't really like that idea very much. I'm going to go with a standard skid on the bottom of this and probably extrude it right from this region here. And that'll be it for this video and I'll see you on the next one. So until then.